Welcome again, everyone, to my second video in this series, I Love Vietnam. In my previous video, we got to explore the city of Da Nang and some of its main attractions. So make sure you go check out that video as well. In this video, I take a day trip to Hoi An, the beautiful, colorful city of lanterns, and find the best banh mi sandwich on the planet. So stick around and see what happens. Almost 10 years ago to the day was my very first trip to Vietnam. It was January 2013, my first time to Asia seeing such rich culture and history. I fell in love with photography and creating videos, and it was my first attempt at vlogging. Hi. Sending my greetings from Cambodia, I just watched the sun rise over Angkor Wat, the largest religious temple in the world. And I wanted to take this moment to... And here I return again at the 17th century Japanese bridge where it all started 10 years ago. So this is where I'm going to start out my tour of Hoi An. I hope you enjoy it. This exact location has been an important trading port for over 2,000 years. It was the principal spice trading port of the Cham Empire back from the 7th to 10th centuries and was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site back in 1999. Such a beautiful little city here. I'm glad I came back. If you ever come to Vietnam, only a half hour from Da Nang. I took a motorbike today, a motorbike taxi. It cost me about $12 Canadian and he dropped me right off down in the heart of things here. Such a beautiful place. You gotta come check it out. Today, Hoi An is primarily a tourist destination. You can enjoy a boat tour along the canal, or you can enjoy a city tour along the cobblestone streets in a cyclo. The unique yellow buildings are a trademark of this photogenic city and reflect the foreign influences that have shaped this place over several centuries. Vietnam has recognized Hoi An as a natural culture and heritage site in 1985. And in 2001, national laws declared the entire town of 120,000 people state property, limiting expansion and keeping its original charm. Over 1,100 original timber frame buildings have been preserved showcasing the Chinese, Japanese and European styles of construction that were prevalent in the 18th and 19th centuries. Hoi An is also known as the City of Lanterns and in the evening the lanterns light up and this place is just a magical looking place. So. Hopefully we can stick around till this evening and get some of the beautiful nightlight this city has to offer. Let's keep looking around. One place I can distinctly recall was the local Hoi An public market. Dating back to the 16th and 17th centuries, this marketplace was the top trading spot in all of Southeast Asia. Ships as far away as China, Japan and India would come here trading their silks and cottons, spices, perfumes and gold. Now adapted for the arrival of tourists, you can find low-cost souvenirs like shirts and hats, handbags and luggage. But you will still find the locals here early in the morning shopping for fresh fish, fruits and vegetables. I remember being here bright and early on my first trip and it was much livelier back then. Last time I was in Hoi An, I remember standing in this very same spot and recording a video not knowing that 10 years later, I'd be using that same video here on YouTube.
After a few kilometers of retracing my steps, I stopped for a break at a local cafe. I had a hot coffee and I logged on to some Wi-Fi so I could find a famous sandwich shop that I ate at all those years ago. Anyone that's traveled or been to Hoi An can tell you the ridiculous amount of tailor and dress shops there are all over the town. Literally can have a dress or a men's suit made to fit overnight. I recall seeing signs that men's suits started at 100 US dollars guaranteed to fit. Here it is, I found it, the best banh mi sandwich in all of Vietnam. This is banh mi phong, a very famous eatery serving the banh mi sandwich. A French baguette is filled with spiced pork, pate, herbs and vegetables to your liking and became world renowned when this celebrity chef came to this very establishment and recorded a food docu-series giving the Ban Mi the official thumbs up. Well, one of the must things to try when you're in Vietnam is the traditional Ban Mi sandwich. 10 years ago, when I was in Hoi An, I came to this very same restaurant, which was uh, visited by the famous Anthony Bourdain. And he gave it the official thumbs up and said this was the best Ban Mi sandwich in all of Vietnam. So 10 years later, I come back to the very same restaurant to have the very same sandwich, the banh mi sandwich. Absolutely delicious. Pretty busy place, as you can see. of Hoi An is built alongside a river. On both sides of the river there are tons of restaurants and pubs. It's just a magical little place. Let's go on the other side of the river and have a look. Welcome to the Tiger Bar. Don't be a pussy, be a tiger. Yeah, I broke down, bought a souvenir. As I'm walking through these tiny little cute streets of Hoi An, I'm getting flashbacks of my visit back here in 2013. One of the first times that I ever tried Indian food was right here in Hoi An. Well, all right, it's evening here in Hoi An, and I've been sitting around on the riverbank drinking beer all afternoon, waiting for dark, so I can show you the beautiful lanterns in Lantern City in Hoi An. Well, let's check this out in the evening.
Well, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you're ever in Vietnam, make sure you put the effort in to spend at least a day or two in the beautiful ancient city of Hoi An. It'd be worth your while. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you won't miss my next video. And remember, wherever you are, wherever you go, go with the flow.